Planet Dolan. From an overexcited Sylvester Stallone to failing basic spelling, we'll look at 11 of the dumbest movie mistakes you missed. This countdown was written by Lost High Studios. Did you know that they've started reviewing some old and modern films over at the YouTube channel? Go check it out, it's linked on screen. You might see a little bit of the Dolan appearing on there soon. How's it going? I'm Danger Dolan. I'm here to decipher some random things I found on the internet the other day that I think you might be interested in. Number 11. Now for a film about time traveling robots fighting. You need to have some suspension of disbelief. But windows that magically fix themselves? This mistake from Terminator 2 happens during the bike chase scene where the T-1000's windows get utterly destroyed and are back in the next short. These kind of mistakes happen all the time in action sequences, but you don't need any cybernetic eyesight to catch this one. Number 10. Actors like to improvise sometimes to give a scene that extra bit of realness, but Stallone was always going to take it too far. In his 80s masterpiece Cobra, all Sly gets a little bit too heated and rips a guy's shirt open, revealing the lapel mic underneath. But hey, maybe it's not a mistake at all, and this guy's just wearing a wire. God, Stallone just got that guy a pair of cement shoes. Number 9. Everyone knows that the shark prop in Jaws doesn't exactly look very real, but that's not normally because of this little mistake. In the scene where Quint finally becomes fish food, a nice soft cushion can be seen inside the killer shark's mouth. This was to help actor Robert Shaw deal with being inside a giant, often malfunctioning prop for hours. But in the film, it now means that Jaws has a pillow for a tongue. Those teeth must really hurt, but at least you have good lumbar support. Number 8. Few films in the 90s could ever actually represent computers in any realistic way, and Jurassic Park is one of the worst at it. During a scene where Nedry is making his escape plans, a shot shows a live feed of the docks. But a passing glance tells you that this is a media player window. There's even a play bar and button. And the park has some computer issues, but this seems like one someone should have picked up on. Number 7. A movie about a Russian sniper, so good at what he does that his kill count goes up even when he isn't on duty. Enemy at the Gates is a film where Russian and Nazi snipers duke it out. In a scene where our hero is being handed a flyer proclaiming his kill count, the flyer goes from 4 kills to 5 kills in 2 different shots. I know the Russians were good at propaganda, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Number 6. Lots of movies have that one generic shot of a plane landing to show a character arriving, but normally the plane doesn't change between shots. The usual suspects is guilty of making this glaring error that would have pilots laughing. When the aircraft is shown from the front, we clearly see a 747 jumbo jet but then in the next shot, it's suddenly missing two engines. Pretty sure those engines didn't just fall off through magic. For some reason, they combined the footage of two completely different planes, and the editor either didn't notice or more likely didn't care. A plane's a plane. Doesn't matter. Number 5. Raiders of the Lost Ark is a near-perfect adventure film, but it has its fair share of easily avoided mistakes. Like this 80s guy walking around 1930s Egypt. This crew member obviously didn't hear Spielberg yell action because he walks right through the shot. Now this guy is just a time traveler and he's trying to find Indy to help him. I'm sure George Lucas wrote this all in the script. Number 4. If the black makeup that surrounds Batman's eyes ever bothered you, then you likely caught this error in Batman Returns. In the climactic scene where Bruce rips his mask off, we clearly see the makeup disappear between shots. Tim Burton probably knew that when Bruce Wayne standing there with panda eyes might look a bit silly, so they just magicked it away. Maybe that's Bruce's actual superpower. Sure, Superman can fly, but I can make eyeliner disappear. Number 3. Another 80s classic that is full of errors, Die Hard has trouble keeping track of how many times a window can break. The glass shatters after one missile is shot through the window at an LAPD vehicle, but then breaks all over again when they shoot the second missile. Funny thing is, the second missile doesn't even need to be fired like someone said, hey that explosion was cool, let's just do it again even if it makes no sense. Number 2. How can the same shit happen to the same movie franchise twice? At least instead of glass, it's magical race change. 
In Die Hard 2 Die Harder, we see an African American character reach down to pick up a suitcase, but the next shot is of a white guy's hand grabbing it. Same close up shot is used later in the film. So obviously the director realised he didn't have the shot, but fuck it! No one will notice the character's race changing for a second. Number one. Well, you assume when you give someone the job of making a fake newspaper that they can spell properly. This typo in The Dark Knight Rises misspelling the headline word heist as heist. Apparently, the Gotham Times doesn't double check their work. Neither does Warner Brothers. You have to wonder what else they've misspelled. Can't you just see the frustration on Bruce's face as mysterious Buttman saves city? It's pasted all over the front page. No wonder he gave up crime fighting. That's it for this countdown. And have a go! In the boring as hell Galactic Senate bullshit scene. Don't you want to see where E.T. is aligned politically? Well, it's a nice gag having E.T. species in the film. You could have at least put them in an interesting scene, George, and not one where I fell asleep.